In this video, you'll take a closer look at the Arduino hardware. As you've seen in the previous video, the 80 Mega 328P microcontroller is the brain of the Arduino, and you program it to tell your Arduino what to do. The Arduino has two rows of header pins in each side. Here you have 14 digital pins labeled from 0 to 13 that can act as inputs or outputs. Digital means that they only have two states, high or low, which means 5 volts or 0 volts. When these pins are set as outputs, they can output 0 volts or 5 volts. When they are set as inputs, they read voltage. They can only read either high or low. Pin 0 and pin 1 are also called TX and RX pins, and they are used for serial communication. On the other side of the board, you have 6 analog input pins labeled from 0 to 5. The analog pins can read varying voltages between 0 to 5 volts. The voltage read is then assigned into a value from 0 to 1023. You can use these pins to read signals from analog sensors, for example. Among the digital pins, you'll find pins marked with a tile. These pins are PWM. PWM means pulse with modulation and it is a technique to give the impression of an analog output using digital pins. You'll explore PWM pins in more detail later in the course. Finally, you have the power pins where you have 5 volts and 3.3 volts supply and ground to connect your circuits. You also have this pin labeled V-in that stands for voltage in. This pin can be used to supply power to the Arduino from an external source. Or you can use this pin to get the source voltage equal to the one supplied by the power jack. The power jack is this component here and is used to power up the Arduino from an external power supply. The recommended input voltage is between 7 volts and 12 volts. Next to the power jack, there is a USB socket. The USB socket is used to connect your Arduino to your computer using a USB cable like this, so that you can upload code that will tell your Arduino what to do. Additionally, the USB socket also powers up your Arduino. This is the reset button. When you press it, the program that is currently running on the Arduino will start from the beginning. You also have some LEDs on the board that give you some feedback of what's going on. The power LED lights up when the Arduino is being powered. The TX and RX LEDs indicate whether there is data being received or transmitted by the board. Lastly, there is also an LED attached to pin 13 that is useful for debugging your projects. In summary, we've covered the Arduino board main features. In the next video, you'll explore the Arduino IDE and how to upload code to the Arduino.